really do this negative start this 35 times five times five times five do that times five 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 nigga now you do the math about that and the oh, I'm coming at y'all with another video. I'm getting used to the camera and shit, getting used to talking. Uh, in my last video I posted, I said, comment customs if you want to learn how to get customs. So in this video, that's exactly what it's going to be about. It's about how to get your customs up, how to keep them, you know, around and not just one time customs. And you know how to keep building and building and building. If you listen to me, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot of good shit, but then it's gonna be like, hey, don't do this, don't do that. I already know if you do certain things, you know what I'm saying, you will get caught up. So I'm trying to look out for everybody that's like listening to me because you know what I'm saying? Step number one on how to gain your customers. Look, look at it as a business. Just like how you look at everything else. You flip shoes, you brand it. You fucking sell shirts, you brand it. If you was in school in sixth grade and shit, real hustler shit selling candies you posting that shit on your little instagram you get in the, it spread around in school just like how you would sell fucking candy at school it's the same shit just like how you sell shoes it's the same shit every business is the fucking same including the illegal business brand yourself brand yourself as quality you know what i'm saying like what's the difference between a, a iphone and an off-brand phone you know what i'm saying that could have the same shit but you know iphone better than you know this random brand so you can go to iphone every time right same thing if it's someone that been doing this and posting this shit and it's you barely starting shit you gonna have to build there because no matter what everybody knows oh well he always got it so why would i need to go to him so you know what i'm saying if you're in a city where it is a lot of trapping going on it's gonna be competition bro but you start off small you gain and sometimes that plug might not answer and that's your opportunity when they plug don't answer they're like who else in the book oh he's selling good boom what you got posted you know send them videos hook them up a little bit that's how you win you feel me that's how you uh that's how you gain the customer right there because now he's gonna be like damn well he has this but then damn he has this good shit too so now he might not come back every single time he might be going to both y'all but now think about it he's coming back boom the more you sell them, the more you give them good shit, the better your brand getting, the better your name getting. Just think business-wise, you know what I'm saying? Street smart is business smart too. Street smart, how you think they get all the money, nigga? They think like a fucking business. It don't matter, bro. Just cause you, you in the street don't mean you stupid, you know what I'm saying? You in the street cause you good with money, you know how to stack it. That's the difference. Step number two is always get quality shit. I'm talking about, bro, always get quality shit. Don't settle for no little mid-pack. You feel me? That mid pack, look, if you, if someone tell you you can get a P for 500, 600, like a 600 bow, fam, it's not gonna be gas. At least in Texas, you want a good P, that shit probably is gonna run you by the band, bro, a thousand. Quality over quantity, bro. Even if you start off with it, that's what I did. Start off with a zip, quality would be better than me getting a pound of mid. Cause look, even though it's a lot more, you start selling that shit and people caught from you, especially new people, guess what? Never again, you cut off. Especially if they smoke a lot and they need some blood and then they get from you and they're like, man, they hitting the hell. That's a mission, you know what I'm saying? So now they know, might just block your ass for real. Like, nigga, we ain't smoking mid. Nobody like that shit, you feel me? Not caught mid because once you do and you sell it to those people, they're just gonna know you as the plug that sell me. Be better off just buying is it selling me because when you sell it and it's like some exotic, at least those people are gonna be like, damn, well, he has some pressure. So I'm gonna go back next time. I'm gonna go back next time because I know he got that. Yeah, da 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 da. That's what you want, bro. You don't want this pound mid pack and you sell a gram or two, never hear from him again. Now you gotta find a whole new person. You don't want one time buy, bro. You know why? Because that make your job easier, fam. You don't gotta go out here and keep trying to find a buyer, 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 buyer. You, you feel me? You in a city, man. You trying to be plugged in in that city and well known. Because if they trust you and they know what you got is good, they gonna keep coming and make your job way easier. Because once you get to a certain point, you don't even gotta go out and look for people. Your phone gonna be blown up with the same people. They keep coming back, coming back. Your money never stop. It work for everybody. They get weed, you get money. 
you when you re up, they get weed, you can get money. Re up, you know what I'm saying? From the same people, that's how it works. Y'all work together. Simple. Step number three, man. Always bless the people who've been there since the beginning, or bless the people that come back more than three times. It all come back to this. You bless your customers, right? With a with a little bit more than they even pay for. They gonna come back. You know why? Cause they gonna fuck with you for blessing it. You feel me? Think about it as a business fan. You walk in the store, right? You could buy one bag of chips, right? But it might be buy two and get a third bag for free. So you get two bags, you buy them, but you get a third one for free for buying two. That deal gonna work because people are like, damn, I could buy one for three dollars, or I can get three for six dollars. You feel me? You see how how I'm saying, bro? Trapping the streets is just business. We know money. You feel me? That's what that's all it is in this hole. It's just like any business. The whole goal is to keep the same people you go and get. The people you find to come back, to push back every time. But like I said, when they push back every time, it make your job easier. You don't gotta be out here scrambling every day trying to find a new fucking face. You build a relationship, you build a bond with them. They start telling they people like, oh, he cool, you know what I'm saying? He got this, he got, you know what I'm saying? Start building a relationship, start, you know, I'm just, hey, that you see him at a party, dap him up. Don't act like you don't know him. Let's say you go to a party, you see your customer. Oh, you dap him up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all cool, y'all have a little drink together and shit. Oh, y'all need some butt? All right, yeah, and I'll throw you a little bit more. All right, hold up. Hey, I'm finna call some his other homeboys or his homegirls. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all need butt? My plug right here. Boom, you feel me? You get connected through one person. You build a relationship with them. Now, from that one person, you build like four or five other connections from their homegirls, homeboys, whoever it is. Next thing you know, whoever they was buying off of, you know what I'm saying? They miss a day. Just one day, boom, they call you up. Now, they might not be every time by. Yo, the one that you build a relationship, he's going to be every day by. Those are his friends, you know what I'm saying? They might just come every now and then, like once, twice, a month, every couple months type shit, but at least they extra buyers. You feel me? That's the whole point is building this shit. You keep your main ones around, your strong ones, your relationship, which can be a lot, bro. A relationship don't got to be no fucking everyday shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? When you see them, Sell them, you know what I'm saying? Don't be annoying with it. You know, you see if they got shit going on, they gotta go. Or if they look like they wanna go, shit, let them go. And if y'all just on some chill shit, you serve them and shit, just, you know, just talk about them with random shit. Like, hey, damn, bro, them shoes harder than the bitch. But when you get, like, random shit, right? Build trust, build relationship, always. Just once you do that, it's gonna make everything easier. That number four, I don't give a fuck who it is, who told you this. Do not skin. Unless you some mafia boss, nigga, do not skin. Because when you skin, never again they not gonna come ever again it just kind of like selling me but it's worse point two okay you could probably get away with it but is it worth it fam i'd rather bless a point two than skip a point two for what i'm gonna make my money regardless fuck it blessing me you skip them they scale it boom they already have an issue bro i shouldn't have bought from this nigga bro he skimmed he bought from you you skimmed it. Boom, I right, he gonna be mad, but he probably not gonna be, he's still gonna smoke this shit, right? Let's say a week or like a couple days go by and they need some butt again. His homeboy and him are looking for plugs, right? And so I'm like, oh, this nigga got gas right here, I'm finna tap in, and it's you. But then you already skimped, bro. So he gonna, he gonna be like, let me see who is it. Oh, him, nah, bro, don't buy from him. He skimped me, you know what I'm saying? He probably gonna skimp, that nigga be on so funny. You don't want that. You feel, you just see, you get that example. It's a bad reputation. You don't want a bad reputation. Same, just like with the mid shit. You don't want to be known for selling me. You don't want to be known for skimping. It'll end your trapping career like this. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to recover from that. Because once it's known about any of that shit, then it's done, fam. And with the mid, nah, you just look like the nigga like, bro, you selling me, you feel me? And the skimp, you just look like a janky nigga like, bro. That nigga broke. It just looks like some broke shit. To me, for real, it just looks like some broke shit. Like, you feel me? That's how I see it. Step number five, if you really out here, you know there's parties on the weekends, Friday, Saturday. It be little block parties. Where I'm from, be parties in Murderworth. It be parties in Dallas. It be parties in, in EA, Ag, anywhere in Arlington, actually. We in the city, you feel me? So every weekend is something going on, whether it's in Murder City, whether it's in Dallas City, whether it's in here. It be block party, bro. Everybody needs some fucking weed. I don't give a fuck. It's always that one person on my. Hold up. It's always somebody in the fucking party that don't got real. And you got real.
Rillo. <laughs> you feel me? I'm think about it. Damn, it is always, always somebody with no fucking Rillo. You could do pre rolls. And on a pre roll, you could charge instead of so it's just a gram in a pre roll, right? Charging 12, you feel me? Making a little more too. And you got them like that. Someone needs some gas. How much you need an eighth? 30 right now. So they gonna buy it. Nine times out of 10, they just want some fucking weed. Nine times out of 10, they with the bitches, you feel me? They trying to smoke with the bitches, get on to the night, you know, smoke. Ah, we drinking and then get that neck by the end of the night, you feel me? Know how niggas think, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know how niggas think. I can start from a zip and build a whole piece to this day. I can start with five cars and get a honey to this day. It take work just like anything else. And niggas think that this trash shit, oh, it's so easy, bro. No, when you first start, it's like anything. You first starting. Don't think you just gonna walk in this bitch and just be a kingpin straight off the rip, bro. Or niggas just gonna show love and respect to you straight off the rip because you got a little zip pack. Nigga, hell no. Humble yourself. Do it. Stay on the low stack. You know what I'm saying? And you'll get your recognition. You'll get your love and support whenever you get there. Tee up, nigga. And even when you do, don't get in above your head. Don't start getting cocky and shit, bro. Because once that happens, bro, that's how you get caught slipping. That's some 12 gonna get your ass. Because you, you in over your head. You in too deep thinking you the shit. And ain't no one can stop you, nigga. That's when you get robbed. That's when you get cute. And that's when you get in fucking jail. You start boasting around, big dog. Oh, because you took the cold piece and you got some thousands, nigga. That's when shit gonna have you, G. I'm just teaching y'all from my eyes. Because I've seen this shit happen, not just to me, but to my niggas, to people around me. So I'm just looking out for y'all because I love y'all. Y'all subscribing to me. Like, comment, you feel me? Whatever y'all want to see next. Y'all want to see how to flip the cards, comment cards. Comment the little cart emoji. All I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking out for y'all. Trust me, this is real love, genuine. And I just don't want to see y'all end up fucking it up because of some stupid shit or some dumb shit or not moving right. Entertainment purposes only, fam. You know what I'm saying? I'm not responsible for anything. Do this at your own risk. This shit is just for entertainment. I know y'all like these videos. I fuck with y'all hustlers. Keep eating y'all big. Love y'all. Southside Dummy, SSD plugged up. You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe for real. Subscribe because I'm going to be dropping so much more content. Not just on this. I'm going to drop story times. We going to roll fatties with the gang. I'm going to let them smoke. I'm on probation and shit. But if y'all enjoyed the video, that was like five, six, seven steps. Drop that like. If you're new here, subscribe. We almost finna hit 100 subs. So I really want to run that up. Thank y'all for everything, man. See y'all in the next one.